In this verse, Sri Pada gets a sweet vision of the Rasa dance, the crown jewel of all of Krishna's pastimes. The blazing mellows of the Rasa Lila enchant even the Lord Himself. So you said, Gurudev, yesterday this is uh, the gopis are seeing Krishna as um, Krishna is keep, it's, it's like exchange of love, you know, with gopis and with Radharani also. Um, what else is what else is happening in this Rasa? Enchanting to Krishna. The creator of all his work, he also is enchanted with the love of the gopis. They are so pure. Mm. Nobody do like that. So he enchanted. Mm. What about others? Love is only enchanting mm. to living entity mm. and super living entity. This is like a celebration of their love. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Or Krishna's gratitude. Krishna cannot uh, searching for even the God also searching for this. Mm. So he enchanted. Mm. With the love of the gopis. Mm. A gopi means gopi bhav is the very high feelings. It is impossible to find in the universe. Mm. Mm. One point is the, mm. after all the difficulties, they are fixed in mm. Krishna. Mm. That's a gopi bhav. Mm. Rasas Panchad, that is the most highest in Srimad Bhagavad. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this, to become like a gopi mm -hmm. for Krishna is rare. Nobody can do that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. With the heart of our Sri Bhagavad And this is Gopi. All Gopis past time. Guru, you just said they are one pointed to Krishna, but they also love Radha. They are friends with Radha. But the love was for God. But nobody do that like Gopi's prem. Gopi prem for Krishna is the highest. <coughs> so Gopi bhav is high. And in Gopi bhav there is a different, different bhav. Mm. Chandavali is also Gopi. And the old ladies are also, everyone is gopi. Yeah. That's the gopi. Our mother Jasuda is also gopi. All the female of the Braja mm. is gopi. <coughs> but if you can see this gopi, it's only in Bandhava. Nobody talk on so high level in the in what's hmm. 
going chanting. Hmm. Yogi cannot make mm. chanting. Mm. Jnani tapasvi cannot make chanting. Bring manasiksha. I have manasiksha. Yes. Ah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Sri Krishna says, I cannot express the feelings that arise in my heart when I remember the rasa dance. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Uddhava Mahasaya says, My heart is greatly astonished when I remember the mellows of Rasalila that increase the astonishment of even Sri Hari. Krishna's desire in the Rasalila is complete and Sri Radhika is the binding link in that desire. So Krishna's desire in the Rasa Leela is complete. Krishna's desire to... to It's complete the Rasa desire, Krishna desire, to unite all together. Okay, that is... But the key is Radhika. Without her it's not possible. So he, here he is satisfying all the gopis in the Rasa Leela, so that in that, uh, in that way it is complete. Hmm. Uh, and Radhika is uh, mm, without her there is no Rasa dance because she is giving him the highest love because she is the source of making night to all gopis mm. because she makes the friendship with all gopis that all they say you are my friend and she is the gathering to everyone Mm. For Krishna, happiness. She is gathering everyone? Yeah, because mm. she is the Kaibu. All gopis are the expansion exp- of mm. Radhika. Mm. Radhika expands in the form of the gopis. Mm. Because she is not, she is not gopi. She sees every place to Radhika. Mm. Mm. In every place she sees it. Because she mm. is Supreme Lord, He mm. sees the reality. Mm. This all are Radhika. Mm. <laughs> mm. So He cannot deny to love any mm. Mm. They have a different form, <clears throat> of different color and form and dress, but they all are Radhika expanded. Mm. Mm. And Radhika is gathering all the gopis to give Krishna happiness. Hmm? Radhika is the main desire to be happy to my lover. My lover, yes. Are Krishna happy to fulfill the desire of everyone? This is this condition of Every living being, he, he is living. So he wants to make all living beings happy. Mm. Mm. And Krishna has, Radhika has only one desire to make happy to Krishna. Mm. Mm. So, Mm. You are you are one pointed, but I cannot do like you love. Mm. Your love is one pointedness, mm. and I, I have to care every living being. Mm. So I am always bigger of your love mm. because that is what you radish love. Mm. I cannot imagine that. Mm. 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 One person love who 
Radhika and Krishna has to love and we live in you. So whose love is higher? Radhika love is higher. To be a one point of that, yeah. we have to follow her to love that. Yeah, it's more focused and concentrated. One point. It's not distracted. And his love is distracted. Mm. Not one point. But he see every place is right. Mm. So he's distracted. <clears throat> mm. And Radhika see one only Krishna. Mm. So he is a one point dead man. Mm. And Mandiri is also one point dead man. Because she only in Vrindavan to Radhika. Mm. When, the, when Krishna leaves Radhika, the Manjaris are still still serving Radharani. You know, and and make shadow of shadow. But it's very difficult for them not to see Radhika in that state. Naturally. Yeah. Her happiness is Manjini's happiness, shadow happiness, and our sadness is shadow sadness. Shadow is happy mm. and unhappy as for the, the object. So they're recounting. What do they do at the time? They're recounting uh, her her past meetings. What? When when Radha is away from Krishna and she's she's feeling separation. I mean, we read in some passages they are he, they are singing uh, in Radhika's ears Hari's names or their past uh, meetings. Right, this way to cheer her up, yeah. uh, and sometimes they're massaging her. They're um, maybe somebody's dressed as Krishna mm. and playing fl- like having a flute maybe and then without Radharani Mohan does not like the Rasalila. Hmm. Therefore, she is a slander. <coughs> hmm. All of the expansion, but she is a slander. Hmm. Who is expansion? Her hmm. Yeah, without the source. Expansions are meaningless. Mm. Center of love, mm. center of feeling, everything comes from us. Mm. Mm. Wow. Therefore, Rasa Rasika Mohan, who enjoys a Rasa dance, plays his flute with new expertise to call Raseshwari, Radha, the queen of the Rasa dance. So he's playing, he's calling Radharani with, with the flute. He plays his flute in the fifth note mm. so that it sounds like a veena. Mm. 
calling to Veena. He's playing the flute like a Veena. So means uh. Veena player will understand mm. yeah. that I'm calling to her. Mm. Other will not understand. Mm. Mm. Who knows about Veena, mm. they will understand. Yeah. What calling? One is now one. It's a message. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's the point. Hmm. So it's a message. Only the receiver can understand. And he plays it with new expertise. New expertise. The Veena is a reservoir of all sweet songs which plays duets with Mohan's sweet flute playing. There's no other abode than Vrindavana where the Rasa Leela takes place. And where Sri Radha, who is a reservoir of all sweet songs, appears. All the dancing and singing in the Rasa Leela is a product of the Gopis Mahabhava. So this is the culmination of all their feelings towards each other. They're, they're the result of all their total feelings come together. They're getting his undivided attention in you know, Tarasalila. All the gopis. When Raseshwari hears Krishna's flute sounding like a veena, she becomes desirous to match her sweet veena playing with Krishna's flute playing. Very eagerly, Raseshwari thus meets flute playing Rasa Vihari Mohan. Who is dearer to her than millions of lives on the bank of the Yamuna? Mm. Yeah. Are all the Rasalila happening by the bank of Yamuna or everything? How sweet is their meeting? How pleased are their eyes when they see each other's blessed moon-like faces. It makes them feel satisfied like a Chataka bird drinking rainwater or like a Chakora bird drinking lunar nectar. Sham Chataka. What is the nature of Chakora? Chataka? Chataka is waiting for the rainwater, otherwise it, it, it's, it's, it doesn't drink anything else. And this Chataka nature, mm. they can die without rainwater. Mm. Mm. They don't drink water. <laughs> And Jataka. Chakora. 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 Chataka is uh, drinking rainwater. Chakora moon. It says lunar nectar. Drinking lunar nectar. Yeah. 
the moon beams. Mm. So this nature of the like a chakura and chakra. Mm. Mm. Yes. Only each other can satisfy themselves. Yes. They only drink rain water. Only she drink Krishna's love. Mm. And chakra only moonlight what? Mohan shines like an atasi flower and Radhika like a golden champaka flower and when they meet they look like the moon hiding in a fresh rain cloud and when they meet they look like the moon hiding in a fresh rain cloud like a moon is hiding in the cloud. Yeah. So, moon is Radhika. She is hiding only mm. within Krishna. Mm. 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 The moon never hides because she is light. Mm -hmm. But when the cloud comes, she hides. When Krishna comes, then moon Radhika is hiding there. Mm. When you see the moon and it gives light to you, and when you see the Krishna, cloud is hiding to moon, mm. it's Krishna. Mm. Moon wants to be with Krishna. Mm. This is the past time that how to relate to see the cloud and moon, how they hide each other. Mm. This is also one sweet part that by looking to moon and cloud you can feel it. So relate with that part that. Mm. You see the chakor and chatak word, then you feel that mm. with all this love is for Radha and Krishna. Mm. Mm. This is the meaning of that. Mm. The Chakor knows and Chatak knows what to drink and when to drink mm. and what is to wait. It's not satisfied by anything else but rainwater. No. That mm -hmm. Nothing else can satisfy or quench its thirst. Their clothes loosen. Krishna's hair falls out from under his peacock feather crest and Radhika's bluish veil slips from her head. So now they're relaxed. Their clothes loosen. They're feeling... Yes, they are out of control. Mm. They cannot control. Mm. The ladies, you see, mm. they always put the veil in the head. And they mm. want to cover. Mm -hmm. And with the clothes, you see, mm -hmm. Indian lady. Mm -hmm. And they lose and miss. Mm -hmm. They cannot control. They forget. Mm -hmm. They are out of control. Mm -hmm. Not only the belly is losing, all clothes are losing mm -hmm. to control. Mm -hmm. A loving mother likes more to see the face of her child, even if it is dumb, than the moon, because she feels love for the child and not for the moon. 
Love makes the ugly look beautiful. Mm. That is the meaning. Mm. Who can then describe the ecstasy felt when the greatest and the most beautiful lovers meet each other? The Yamuna, who is called Banuja, the daughter of the sun, swells up in ecstasy when she sees <laughs> Vrisha Banuja, the daughter of Maharaja Vrisha Banu, meeting Mohan on her banks and freely playing with him like an intoxicated she-elephant with the king of the elephants. The Yamuna swells up of ecstasy. But she is also deriving so much love from seeing both of them madly in love with each other. Yamuna which is normally serene and peaceful, she's also swelling up in ecstasy. All the moving and the non-moving creatures of Vrindavana are shivering of ecstasy while Radhika, the ocean of artfulness, plays her veena, outsounding Mohan's flute song. All the moving and the non-moving creatures of Vrindavana are shivering of ecstasy while Radhika, the ocean of artfulness, plays her veena, outsounding Mohan's flute song. By serving the divine couple, the Kinkari is blessed with a sweet vision of their pastimes. This is end of 58 or the... Yeah. Can you repeat the last sentence? The by serving the divine couple. By serving the divine couple, the Kinkari is blessed with a sweet vision of their pastimes. Hmm. <coughs> Radhika's Veena playing is sounds more better than Krishna's flute playing. He is trying, trying to take out the fruit from fruit Veena found. Uh -huh. And Veena is the instrument who can do the many sounds. Gotcha. So he is a reservoir. Mm. Of all manners. Mm. Mm. So he's he's unable to match. I mean, he's matching that. He's trying to match. I think we down. I never saw him play. Yeah. You know, she's running us. Um. <coughs> Go on. Verse 59. When will I joyfully serve the best lady love, Sri Radhika, and the best of lovers, Mohan, whose cheeks became moistened with sweat drops of fatigue? from their incomparable dancing during the wonderful, enchanting Rasa festival, which is full of laughter by massaging their feet and nicely fanning them. When will I joyfully serve the best lady love, Sri Radhika, and the best of lovers, Mohan, whose cheeks become moistened with sweat drops of fatigue 
from their incomparable dancing during the wonderful enchanting Rasa festival which is full of laughter by massaging their feet and nicely fanning them. Manjari service in the Rasa dance. Now, the Rasa dance has begun. The gopis <coughs> dance in a circle and Radha dances in the middle with Mohan. How sweetly Rasa Raja and the Rasa heroines smile at each other with budding lips when they see each other's sweet dancing which is born from the mood called Rati. So Rati is love, oh, intense love. How much they are enchanting and how much are they astonishing each other with their song and dance. The Rasa Leela enchants not only Mohan but also the gopis. When Krishna had left them to go to Mathura, the gopis asked Uddhava the following question. O oh Uddhava, your Lord must have forgotten us. But has he also forgotten the nights that he danced the rasa with us? We become mad when we remember those enchanting nights that were whitened by the pleasing rays of the full autumn moon inundating the surface of Mother Earth. The whole natural scenery of Vrindavana smiled at us with its white kunda and jasmine flowers. Although she is called Krishna or the black one, the Yamuna became as white as milk because of all the blossoming white flowers, lotus flowers and lilies floating on her surface and the sand on her banks became as soft, white and fragrant as ground camphor. On top of that, the demigods had strewn many white flowers on the arena of the Rasa dance. Oh, best of the Yadus, the dancing of the gopis made their sachet of bells, the bangles on their wrists <clears throat> and the ankle bells on their feet jingle sweetly, sounding even more beautiful than the different musical instruments that they played. Does your Lord remember that most blissful rasa dance now. The word vilasa in the text means that the gestures of the faces and the eyes of the hero and heroine are extra special. In Srimad Bhagavata, Sri Sukhamuni perfectly drew the following beautiful picture of the Maharasa. With their measured treads, the motions of their hands, the playful movements of their eyebrows, accompanied with graceful smiles, bending waists, 
shaking breasts and fluttering skirts of their garments, earrings swinging against their cheeks, perspiring faces and their braids and girdles loosened because of their swift movements and singing His glories, the wives of Krishna shone brightly like flashes of lightning in a mass of clouds with their measured treads the motions of their hands the playful movements of their eyebrows accompanied with graceful smiles bending waists shaking breasts and fluttering skirts of their garments earrings swinging against their cheeks perspiring faces and their braids and girdles loosened because of their swift movements and singing his glories the wives of Krishna shone brightly like flashes of lightning in a mass of clouds Sripada in his kinkari form sees Vichitravara Tandava Shrama Jaladra Gandastala Raseshwari and Rasika Shekara's cheeks have become moist of sweat drops of fatigue from their sweet singing so she sweetly fans them the sadaka should also remember himself serving in this way but this remembrance cannot come as long as one is an external mundane consciousness shri pada describes the sweet rasa leela as follows in his poem sangeeta madhava this pastime is bearing the nectarian rasa of laughter and is described for by sukadeva brahma shiva and narada may the playful pastimes of radha and mohan enter my mind and increase my love mm-hmm. wow. these pastimes only take place in the vrindavana forest and are reflected in the hearts of those who are absorbed in this fresh rasa this rasa makes the taste of mukti seem bitter and finds its finds its shelter in the glistening feet of shri hari the erotic transformations increase at every moment in this ocean full of the quintessence of nectarian rasa these pastimes are beyond the three modes of material nature and are sung by the greatest sages who spit <coughs> even on the position of Lord Brahma. This pastime can only be seen by Radha's dear devotees and is not disclosed even to the Vedas. Even the great souls cannot find the end to all the different kinds of loving gestures made in this rasa festival oh devotees who are very eager for love always keep your hearts absorbed in the supreme jewel 
of this Prabodhananda Saraswati's song. Now, the Rasa dance is over. Radha and Mohan enjoy a little rest, sitting on a jeweled throne, and Sripada, as a maidservant, blissfully massages their lotus feet. The word Lalana in this text means keeping with affection. The maidservant forgets all sense of time while she eagerly relishes the sweet taste of massaging these lotus feet. The lotus feet of the divine couple are tired of dancing the rasa and Radha and Mohan keep their eyes half closed while they enjoy the soft and affectionate massage of the maidservant. There is no limit to the maidservant's ecstasy then. Then, when this transcendental vision vanishes, Sri Pada pitifully prays, When will you bless me with the services of fanning you and massaging your lotus feet? End of verse 59. In Maharaj, Krishna is the center. And he will go more further, he will see. So Maharaj, Gopinath, in Maharaj, Krishna is the center. Krishna is the center mm-hmm. for the gopi. Mm-hmm. And for Manjari, Radha is the center. Go on further. So, you will not see any place Sri Pal. When the rest thing coming, mm-hmm. so Sri Pad is with Radhika mm-hmm. and he is a Maharaj doing with all the people. Right? Mm-hmm. Krishna and Gopi. Mm-hmm. So Sukade, Brahma, Narad, they are glorifying this Maharaj. Mm-hmm. But this is higher than their meditation, hmm. yogi's meditation. Gopis are more high. Hmm. Manjaris are more high. Manjaris are the servant of Radha. Only service Radha, not hmm. Krishna business. Yes. <laughs> they have no any thinking for Krishna. This is Manjari. Hmm. For gopis, our center is Krishna. For Manjari, the center is Krishna. I remember one of the verses before, uh, when Radha's ankle belts, uh, you know, when, when it becomes untied, and when Krishna is playing, he feels that something is off. And so Manjari is off. Yeah. And then, and why this pastime with the anchor belt and this? Mm-hmm. To bring your mind and fix it mm-hmm. in that meditation. Mm-hmm. When you will prepare here, then you can enter in one day you First you have to fix gopi bhav, mm-hmm. then manjari bhav you decide. This is gopi bhav, mm-hmm. Maharaj. Mm-hmm. Read again and again. Mm. Go on. Mm. More further. Other chapter. This is verse 60. When will I search for my mistress in the lovely bower houses of Sri Vrindavana? Saying, O Radhe, why don't you tread the path 
shown by me with your clever lover and when will i become spotlessly pure by washing my dirty body in the water of the yamuna which is muddled by the musk from shri radhika's nipples musk is a black but it put on the nipples of radhika so full of love hmm one point is because of the breast nipple mm-hmm. it was there so it was full of one point focus mm-hmm. so it become full of love this mask is not for everyone but full of love one point mask is beautiful mm-hmm. good but when it come in on the breast of radhika this mask mm-hmm. focus nice become more mm-hmm. that is mm-hmm. this is what they are looking for so i need the mask from the breast of radhika mm-hmm. from the love of radhika mm-hmm. that is my meditation of my day mm-hmm. Hmm. Gopi is the direct Krishna. Mandir is the true Radhika. Hmm. Hmm. Imagine that mask is Krishna. Hmm. But if his mask is on the breast of Radhika, hmm. on Nepal, that hmm. is beautiful. Hmm. and the gopi see direct mask yeah. to put on her mm. and the mandri see mask on the nipple breast of the radhika mm. then is also mm. with the flavor of love breast means art of radhika mm. love of radhika that that is many mm. many can be mm. when will i search for my mistress well my dear when i will search for my mistress mm. gopi said when i will search to do the maharas to mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. wow. in the lovely bower houses of shri vrindavana where only radha and krishna mm-hmm. saying o oh radhe why don't you tread the path shown by me with your clever lover and when will i become spotlessly pure by washing impure mm-hmm. why impure because mind is going to krishna also. Mm. so i am not become pure for your son mm-hmm. so you know accepting me when i will become pure mm. only i can see you mm. and your breast and nipple of breast mm. that i my purity is only through you to see krishna not to that mm. not to see mask direct see mask on your breast nipple mm-hmm. that is my desire when i will become pure to see that mm-hmm. yeah we become pure only by getting her mercy her her prashad that is the mercy yeah. when it come in our life then we want to see 
must only on the breast of her and pull down brother not outside not outside is not for my enjoyment mm. like go mm. with her do dancing mm. individually mm. so go on maras are to be complete in one time mm, okay in the previous verse bhagwat can say up to <coughs> maharaj mm. Mm. this is more intricate details more yeah. more deep Call- also many i go feel out but there is something more i mm-hmm. what mahaprabhu bring to us yeah call in these purifying water in the previous verse shri pada had a vision of the rasa dance now that this vision is gone he laments alas will i a servant of my lusty desires ever be so fortunate to see these loving pastimes how can i purify this dirty perishable body of mine consisting of flesh blood stool and urine thinking like this shri pada remembers the greatness of shrimati yamuna and he joyfully says my contaminated mind will surely become purified by bathing in the yamuna shri rupa goswami has written in his yamuna ashtakam may the daughter of the friend of the lotus flowers yamuna a drop of whose water destroys the sinful reactions of all creatures who increases the stream of intimate loving devotion for Nar- nanda's son and who brings auspiciousness to anyone who desires to live on her banks always purify me shila balade vidya bhushana comments as follows this intimate devotion to nanda's son refers to raga bhakti <laughs> so raga bhakti is bhakti in the in the wake of you know raga atmika devotees that are pure devotees that are living in raja that are either in the motherly bhav you know seeing krishna as their son or in the friendly bhav seeing krishna as their friend or gopi bhav or even gopi bhav seeing krishna as their lover and this raga also as gurudev likes to mention the difference between raga and anuraga it is i am loving or i am expecting i want it says one direct one one sided usually versus anurag you also feel the love from the other side so this is raga bhakti so in the center for them is krishna in some form as a son or as a lover or as a friend and they have mixed desires right where they they want to satisfy their desire and also mm. krishna's desire right and krishna desire also fulfill to mother also mm. can you want to listen one story i say mm. Fifty years back, or mm-hmm. thirty, forty years back, mm-hmm. one past time happened. Mm-hmm. It was not a big city there. Mm-hmm. One lady, old lady, was living, and in the front of the place there was many shops, mm-hmm. and one room which she rent. Mm-hmm. and she is living in the one place uh, this simple lady mm-hmm. but she is every hour running to bring something mm. sometimes she went to bring samosa some after one hour she go to buy a rasgulla after one hour she was going to buy mm. some jalebi Mm. something 
every hour she is running for something mm. and it happening every day on and on and on and on mm. every hour she is running and fat lady mm. she is going and running coming back mm. very fast going and very fast coming back mm. and every day this is happening the shop man saw outside he said this is so old lady and so much want to eat every hour something sometimes to buying peanuts sometimes buying to biscuit sometimes she buy and bring lollipop this way they are she is running and running and they smile when she goes to buy and say what do you bring maya is a lollipop point thing okay and then rasgulla samosa gulab jamun this whole day every day morning to evening her job was that hmm. wow hmm. what is happening hmm. the gopal he has one gopal hmm. and gopal is telling to his mother hmm. today i want to eat something mama I am very hungry. What do you want to eat? I want to eat gulab jamun. From long time we don't eat. Hmm. Gopal is talking to me, hmm. and this lady is on to bring that. Hmm. <laughs> and this shop people is understanding. Hmm. This lady <laughs> wants to eat herself, hmm. Hmm. and after one hour again she become hungry to hmm. eat. Mm-hmm. Again, hungry to eat, mm-hmm. but this is not. Mm-hmm. This is Gopal is asking, and mother is loving to eat, mm-hmm. and really Gopal eats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sometimes there is mm-hmm. no love for the mother to eat, mm-hmm. and she is also hungry, but she not bother for herself. Mm-hmm. and the other this is happening they have a too much exchange of love mm. with gopal and mother this whole lady mother lila so much every day she is whole day making the clothes mm. every day making the garment flower mm. but she not say to anyone i think we going to that nobody knows what happened is a private past and Mm. this happening gopal mm. start asking mm. this is anura mm. once i do raga bhakti mm. from my side is happening mm. and when he is demanding mm. that's anura mm. 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 when it happens Mm. When rag is going on, mm. then anurag is that. Mm. One, not one sided, both sided. Mm. Mm. So why are they calling this raga bhakti here, or the others? Because this is raga bhakti. Mm. When anything is happening for Krishna, this is raga. Acha. Gopis also. In love with Krishna is the right one. So any time Krishna is in the center, it's Raga Bhakti. It's the Raga. Mm. When the Krishna is center, it's the Raga Bhakti. Mm. But there is Anurag. Raga and Anurag. When Raga is there, mm. Raga cannot move without Anurag. Mm. I love mm. is never happen. Mm. one sided love mm. there is something happening that mm. one sided love is growing mm. maybe i do 100% mm. one person he also do mm. and maybe i do one person and mm. but he start doing 50% is anurag mm. rag create the anurag Gurudev, is this this uh, lady where we have been seven years ago? 
This is real story I say. And one day, one day, it this day is going on five years. Mm. One day, if she is sleeping, mm-hmm. and one cat in that mm. in her room, mm. because so many things she brings, mm. sometimes Krishna eats, sometimes not eat, it's mm. Gopal. Mm. So cat enter inside room. Mm. In night time, cat say, meow. Then Gopal say, Mama, I want to not to sleep on the bed. I want to sit, sit near, sleep near to you. Mm-hmm. And that the whole day Gopal said to go and bring something, bring something. Mm-hmm. And night time, she, old lady, she wants to rest. Said, no, I want to sleep with you, <coughs> close to you. Mm-hmm. Then he brings to Gopal near to the bed. And then, Mama, again catch a meow. I don't. You put near to your chest, go, she bring and put on there. Yeah. She come up, down the street, the Gopal is sitting here, yeah. uh, together. Yeah. And again say, Mama, I am very afraid because again I listen, he's meow yeah. to it. Mm. So sleep, sleep, mm. don't no, no idea. I'm very tired today. Mm. Sleep, sleep, sleep. She's singing again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, why are you sleeping? I cannot sleep. Ah, I'll sleep, sleep. And she is cannot say, but she sleeps. And she was little tiny. Day. Again, the mama knocking to her. I am very af- fearful. Please protect me. And she said, hey, you are God? Why you are fearful? You are not a God? Hmm. And from that day, Gopal stopped talking hmm. and asked him. Hmm. Well, you understand? Master mm-hmm. has become in God than in one hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> he understands it. <coughs> and he was angry and she said that Mm. Why are you doing this, eh? Mm. Why are you disturbing? Why are you worried about the cat? Are you a god? Small cat, you make you worry. Mm. Then and now she wake up. She say, Gopal, Gopal, what can I bring for you? Not all. She become mad. No part of stuff talking to you, mm. asking to you. Mm. He said, What I do mistake, my Gopal is angry. Mm. She starts crying, non stop mm. crying, mm. on and on. And by this way, she lose her consciousness, magic, in suffering. So never identify like a God if you. Your rag is going on. Yeah. Keep it on with that. Mm. Mm? Wow. Mm. It's a luck, good mm. luck that rag is there. Mm. Rag bhakti is very beautiful. Mm. Yeah? 
There's one place I was reading, uh, I think Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur said, the reason why Shukamuni did not describe over Radharani explicitly in Bhagavatam was that if he started describing, then he would go into deep meditation, he wouldn't be able to finish Bhagavatam. Mm-hmm. So he purposely did not speak about Radharani in, in Bhagavatam. Even though he knew, he had to complete his meditation. Some, so he didn't go into any he detail. Gopi Bhav, mm. that is the highest thing. And yeah. if we are fortunate, the person who is fortunate, mm. they have come up to this Bhav, Gopi Bhav. Mm. They follow one way, how to love Krishna. That is a very high mood. You cannot find out, out of prayer mm. this one. Even in the... And Switzerland, <laughs> other world of the <laughs> in America, you can find everything yeah. about the dharma, artha, kama, moksha, four pulsar, not about the fifth mallow, frame. Yeah. Rati, rati, go. Oh. 